Pumpkin waffle. I think it's a pumpkin waffle. Mm. Pumple maple. Pumpkin maple waffle. <laughs> oh god, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> for all of you candle lovers out there, this video is just for you. What's up guys? I'm Elena. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Elena from Elena's Creations and today we are going to talk about a few little gift ideas for you guys for the upcoming holidays. If you guys are like me, I always procrastinate. I always forget until the last minute on getting gifts for someone. So you guys are wondering, uh, what can I get that special someone? I got you covered. So today I'm gonna show you guys two brand new candle collections that uh, we've got right now in stock. These are the classy candles. So you've got the, this is the matte black vessel with the wood lid on top. So we have these in several, oh, I love that smell. <laughs> we have these in several uh, different fragrances. My number one favorite is the Five Star Hotel on Christmas. Now, Every time I make this, it just reminds me of the holiday season. I love, 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 love Christmas. I love the smell of Christmas. It reminds me of walking into a five-star hotel. Um, I remember back when I was younger and I was walking into this hotel in Miami Beach. And it was an older hotel, but it was a five-star hotel. And it was on Christmas and just that smell that's what this candle reminded me of. So I had to name it that and it's, you guys, listen to this. So this has bayberry, eucalyptus, cypress, moss, incense, patchouli, and fur. Now you do not smell much of the patchouli because I'm not a fan of patchouli. You don't smell that. I don't know. There's something about this candle that I absolutely love and I know you guys are gonna love it too. So yeah, that's why I named it that. So we've got this in a few different fragrances. We have the um, pumpkin pecan waffle. We've got the blueberry cupcake, which is another really good one. We have the old fashioned honey, which is a very good one as well, if you guys like that type of stuff. Another favorite is the grandma's apple pie. With this one, it's not very overpowering. This one's just perfect. Yes, so that is our classy collection. And all of these candles all have two wicks. They're an all natural candle. The fragrances are all natural. The wicks are natural. They're a cotton wick, so you're not putting any type of fumes or anything bad into the air. So we're moving on to yet my favorite dessert. Um, I decided after I did the classy candle collection, I had to do the dessert line and I had so much fun doing these dessert candles. I decided to come out with these new candles. These are 20 ounces. I started out with five top fragrances and out of all the hundreds, hundreds, we'll go with hundreds, out of those five I thought were my favorite. Well, this weekend I came out with two more. So now we have seven, but that's okay. We've got seven and I'm gonna show you guys what we've got. First one we have here is the cinnamon roll. And look you guys, look how big these candles are. 20 ounce candle, this thing is going to burn forever, forever. It's cinnamon, brown sugar, moist cake, and vanilla icing. <laughs> The next one we have is sugar cookies. Oh yeah, sugar cookies. It's got little sprinkles in there. It's got the little whipped cream frosting on top and individual cookies laid in there. It's a nice touch of sugar, cookie dough. Mm, yeah, vanilla beans and butter. So who couldn't ask for more in a sugar cookie candle? Check out the cookies. I mean, all of these look so real. 
And then carnival corn, oh my gosh. You know, we'd go to the fairgrounds every year and we'd go check out the animals and then just walking down and smelling the food, the popcorn, the caramel apples, the cotton candy. It's a buttery popcorn scent with the salt. You can smell the salt, the vanilla. You could smell the caramel and the brown sugar. Oh, it smells so good. So you've got little tiny popcorn embeds on there. Check it out. I mean, it looks so real. Then we came out with Cereal Killer. Who doesn't like cereal? You've got the milk base and you've got your cereal on top. So after thinking about it, I'm like, cereal killer. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was a cereal killer. I always, always ate cereal and I loved it. I killed every box. But yeah, so Cereal Killer, this was the perfect name for this candle. It's a sweet orange, a tart lemon, a tangy cherry, mm, yeah, vanilla bean and sandalwood. So you've got, just like I said, it's like a milk base. So you got your cereal milk, and then here on top is all of the embeds that I made. And let me tell you, these take some time to make. Probably took me about two weekends to make about five ounces of these embeds. So yeah, Fruit Loops, a lot of work, but so much fun. Anyway, I think you guys are gonna like it because when you open this up and you smell this, you're gonna be like, holy crap, it smells just like the Fruit Loop cereal. And then we came out with the strawberry shortcake. Come on, who doesn't like strawberries? Who doesn't like the shortbread and whipped cream? Gosh, you guys, if you could only smell this. And when I make these, oh my God, my shop smells amazing. And then last but not least, we have pecan pie. My dad, always, always sends me pecans for Christmas. Um, and I love them. I love pecans. I can eat them just straight out of the bag. Pecan pie is my number one favorite. And who doesn't like pecan pie on Thanksgiving? So yes, I had to come out with pecan pie. And it's Georgia pecans, caramelized sugar, brown butter, pie crust, and whipped cream. Yeah. Check these out. All of those embeds look exactly like pecans. Now you can't tell me that isn't the perfect dessert candle. The seventh one is going to be playing in the snow. And that one is very fun. It's a very brisk, it's a Christmassy type candle. I think you guys are really gonna like it. I don't know what it is about that smell, but it's just refreshing. It makes me feel like a kid, you know, playing in the snow. Um, even though I didn't start playing in the snow and I didn't see snow for the first time until I was 27 years old. That's pretty sad. So there you have it. Hope you guys liked the video. Go check out my website, melanascreations.com, and make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you haven't already, and make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays.